Hello, Saka Fed. Hi, I'm Roma, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be making one of my favorites. It's a spice sorrel jelly. Perfect treat for the Christmas holiday season. We have some dried sorrel, some pectin, ginger, cinnamon, sugar, and star anise. First step, we're going to boil the sorrel with all the spices, so come join me at the stove. Some ginger, and I'm just going to slice the ginger and put it in. Put it like that. Cover it up and bring it to a boil. I'm putting it high. So the sorrel is boiling, and you see, we want to get it boiling like this, really rapid. And what I'm going to do now is just turn it down to a low and just let it simmer and cook for about half an hour. We're going to let it cool after and then we will make the um, jelly with it. So now we have the sorrel juice. We are ready to make our jelly. So I'm going to let my jars boil to sterilize them. So what I'm doing now is pouring my sorrel into the pot. Then I'm going to put the sugar on. I should turn the stove on. You want to mix it up, but I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to stir this and bring it to a boil. So I'm just going to put a little bit of butter in there. That's to help with the foaming, to cut back on that. So you just want to skim it off. You can smell the spices in that. It smells so good. So you just want to make sure you get all that stuff off of there. in really good so you want to let it boil for one minute I'm going to turn it off take it off the heat and we're going to stir the pectin in so I'm using liquid pectin that's why this one I'm doing it after it's already boiled so usually with the other pectin the powder you do it before you add your sugar but this liquid one is a little different so I put it after I think I'm going to put the other one in to get it nice and thick. Okay, so you can see our mixture is ready. Look at the jelly. That's nice and thick already. So that's going to, when it cool off, it's going to be really good. And you can, I can smell the cinnamon and all that delicious goodness in there. So when you fill this, you want to make sure you leave enough space at the top or a quarter of an inch. And this gave me two, four, six jars. So now I'm going to close them up and I'm just going to wipe the edges. And this is really good little Christmas treat. You know, you can have your jelly with your anything you like, crackers with scones, biscuits, anything you would use jam and jelly with, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to put the lids on. I'm just going to lower them into the hot water. And we're going to leave that on for 10 minutes. And it should be fine. After 10 minutes, we'll take it out. 
Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. And see, it's been boiling. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm just going to get these out of there. And I'm going to sit them here. Oh, oh, that's what happens. You hear the lid pop, so that's a good thing. They're sealing. Oh, that now pop is so... You hear that, and it's like scary, but it's nothing. Okay, that's just the ceiling down. Okay, guys, so that's our sorrel jelly, and you can hear that popping. Now, we're going to have to leave this for 12 hours before we can open it up and see all the delicious goodness. Okay, guys, so I'm going to try this jelly. And look at that, it's so rich in color and looks absolutely delicious. Let's try. Mmm. You can actually taste all the spices. Mmm. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and those who've been with me from the beginning. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And there you have it, guys, our spice sorrel jelly. Thank you for watching, and until next time, you have a great day, and God bless.